Hi Virgos, this is your May love and relationship reading. This is going to be for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. All right, so let's get into your reading. Let's see what the universe wants you to know for the month of May. We are in retrograde season, so I'm already picking up energy that someone is trying to return to you, Virgos, but you may not be having that shit. <laughs> Yeah, four swords. Someone is recuperating or resting, trying to get over something that they went through. Then you have the emperor here. So some of you could be dealing with an Aries. We also have um, the four of swords, Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. Spirit, what messages do you have for Virgos? What messages do you have for Virgos? Okay. All right, so we also have the queen of swords. So I feel like some of you cut someone off or someone cut you off. If this person cuts you off, Virgos, they're going to return. Okay, they want to come back into the connection. So this may be something that you already know, but for those of you who don't know it, this person is on their way back to you. It's like now they're trying to take control of this situation. All right, so four cards fall out of the deck, so I'll take them. Oh, okay, yeah. Someone is bringing clarity to the situation after being in hangman status. So we have the hangman, we have the ace of swords, we have the five of pentacles. So someone left you out in the cold, like I said, and now they want to return. It's like now with the ace of swords, they're trying to bring some clarity to the situation. Some of you could be dealing with the Pisces, okay? We also have the page of swords here. So I feel like this person is watching you. They're keeping track of what you're doing. Even though I feel like you may have been in a third party situation with this person, it's like they're keeping track of you. Even though they walk, I feel like somebody walked away from the connection and now they're keeping track of you because if you're not talking to this person, if you like let them walk Virgos and you didn't chase them or you're not calling them or texting them, it's like now they feel like you found someone and I feel like that's what this person wanted. They wanted the thrill of the chase with you and I feel like now that you're not doing it, this person is stuck. They're not quite sure what to do about the situation. So now they want to come back. And they want to try to make something work or they're going to try to see if you're still available. Spirit, what messages do you have? What messages do you have for Virgo? What messages do you have for Virgo, Spirit? Yeah, we have the Ten of Cups. Okay, so with this Ten of Cups card, I feel like this person is now seeing your worth or they're going to come in with that type of attitude. But I feel like the energy of this person is they're coming in with the attitude of the Ten of Cups. And they may promise you something, Virgo, but they may not keep their word. So keep your eye on this person because I just feel like um, they're just trying to make sure that you're still available for them. Okay, the card flew on the floor. Yeah, somebody is worried. We have the Nine of Swords that flipped out of the deck and flew on the floor. If this is you feeling this way and you're stressed out because you're not sure if your person is coming back, they are. Okay, well, this could be your person stressed out about you. Somebody is in their thoughts here. Um, first of all, this reading has a lot of swords. Okay, so someone is in their like in their thoughts about the situation. Not only that, but there is a lot of um, communication that's coming your way, and I feel like you don't see it yet. Spirit, what messages do you have? What messages do you have for Virgo? Some of you are definitely dealing with an air sign. If somebody has a lot to say, these cards keep coming out of the deck like three and four cards at one time. We have the Eight of Cups here. We have the Queen of Pentacles and we have the Three of Swords. So if someone broke your heart, okay, some of you may be depressed or sad about a situation or disappointed in the way someone treated you. I feel like you were the Queen of Pentacles to this person because this is your energy. So um, you may have been doing a lot for them, you know, just helping them out, being there. I'm also picking up the energy for some of you. This person had children or a child and you were like very nice to the child. Maybe you were a stepmom to their child or, you know, you were just um, treating this child like they were family. Maybe if this child was spending the night over your house or coming to see their mother or father, you were like acting like, you know, you were treating this child like it was yours. And I feel like this person walked away from you after all that you've done for them. For some of you, I feel like you allowed this person to stay with you. Um, you were helping them out financially. Somebody didn't have a place to stay and you allowed them to come into your home. And I feel like now that this person betrayed you and stabbed you in the back, you feel um, like it's very hard to trust and love again. Spirit, what messages do you have? What messages do you have for Virgo? Some of you could be dealing with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Or another earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Spirit. Okay, let's see. 
Yeah, we have the Ten of Swords. So if you're not feeling betrayed and stabbed in the back, Virgos, this could be your person feeling this way if they're cross-watching. So flip and reverse the roles as need be. But somebody feels betrayed here. Somebody feels stabbed in the back. You feel taken advantage of. Like this person did not appreciate what you brought to the table. But I feel like they're going to appreciate you now. They're definitely going to appreciate you because I feel like you have it in your mind that, um, you know, you've been doing some thinking and you're like, if this person walked away from you, maybe it's best that you guys are not together because it's like you're realizing that this person really wasn't giving you what you needed or what you wanted. They were playing games. They had you in third party situations. They were still dealing with their child's mother or child's father. And I just feel like you was helping this person out in a huge way for some of you. See what this is. Yeah. We have the five of swords in reverse. <laughs> this person is coming out of their egotistical, narcissistic, um, arrogant, prideful ways. Okay. So they're ready to drop all of that, but then I feel like it's going to be short term. I don't know why, but I'm picking up the message that this person is going to come back and then they're going to um try to act right for a couple of months and they're going to fall right back into their normal routine. Spirit, what messages do you have for Virgo? What messages do you have for Virgo? Okay, yeah. We have the Five of Cups and we have the Nine of Cups. So now this person is seeing you as wish fulfillment, but I feel like they walked away from you. They waved by to you at some point, okay, because they thought they had something better. And now this person is in a lot of regret and a lot of remorse, okay? They're sorry for what they've done. I feel this person wants to make something up to you. You see this guy extending his hand in this Nine of Cups card to this woman. Now, this these cards are not gender-based, so this could be the other way around, okay? It could be a female extending their um energy to a male or vice versa but somebody is coming back to talk to you about something but i feel like when this person comes back in towards you virgo um just make this person prove it like this time don't just take them back because i feel like for some of you you've taken this person back time and time again and they betrayed the same um behavior towards the situation it's like right when you let up and you want this person back and you give them another chance they disappoint you again is what i'm picking up on let's see in spirit what messages do you have for virgos what messages do you have for virgos all right so this card flipped upside down we have the temperance so some of you could be dealing with a sagittarius or things are about to become very balanced out the universe is telling you to be patient. So patience is required here if you still want this person back in your life. Because like I said, I feel like they're going to come back um, and they're going to offer you something. But the thing about this person, Virgo, is like I really do feel in some way their intentions are good. But whatever it is that you want from them, I don't feel like they've fixed the issue or problem yet. Okay, And that could be you wanted them to make a decision between you and another person. I don't feel like they've left this other person. Yeah, I keep seeing the seven of swords here. So I feel like this person is still being sneaky. Okay, because we have the seven of swords. We also have the knight of swords and we have the sun card. So some of you could be dealing with the Leo and this person keeps running back and forth. They keep coming in, promising you something, but not keeping their word. They're not, they're like really inconsistent is what I'm seeing here. But I do feel like this person loves you because we have the sun card here, which is the highest major arcana in the deck. And it is about happiness and prosperity an abundance and somebody wanting um better days with you you know brighter days better times yeah we have leo again we have the full card and we have the five of wands so some of you could be dealing with a fire sign aries leo sagittarius um we have leo here specifically though for some of you because we have the sun card and the strength card some of you are definitely dealing with the leo and this person is coming back wanting another chance with you but i feel like you you really feel like you don't get along with this person maybe you guys don't see eye to eye on a lot of things but i feel like um there's a lot of passion there's a lot of chemistry between the two of you but when it comes to um being on the same page i feel like that's that's where you guys struggle it's something here where there's a lot of love and a lot of chemistry and passion but you struggle to see each other's point of view what messages do you have what messages do you have um okay the judgment card and the ten of pentacles so for some of you this person is already committed to someone else but they're not happy in their situation and i feel like they're making a temporary judgment 
okay and that is coming towards you wanting a second chance with you it's like right when you thought something was over and there was nothing else to become of the situation there's a rebirth and a resurrection yeah definitely spirit what messages do you have for virgos what messages do you have for virgos what do they need to know for the month of may Okay, what does, oh, okay, I was about to ask, what does your person want you to know? And these cards just flew right out of the deck. So this person wants to talk. Somebody is being stubborn here. We have the three of wands in reverse. I feel like some of you are no longer waiting on this person. You were waiting on this person for quite some time. And now you've decided not to wait on them no more. And here they come. Right when you decided to give up. Okay, because this person with the seven of wands, they were pushing you away. It's like every time you try to come towards them, it's like they would come towards you, Virgo. And then you would think everything is fine. And you would be like, okay, so maybe we have a chance of moving forward in this situation. And then they would disappoint you, right? And then they would become very guarded. They would push you away. They would do something. Um, maybe this person wasn't communicating with you. Maybe when you would call them, they weren't like answering the phone or, or texting you back or calling you back. But now we have the nine of wands. You're very guarded when it comes to them. And I feel like your heart chakra is blocked off because you did have the three of swords here. So you're very um, sad and disappointed and heartbroken by the way this person is treating you in this connection. And I feel like that's why some of you guys are in this nine of wands energy. It's like you're sick of somebody's shit. <laughs> All right. Um, give me one second. This card just flipped on the floor. All right. So this is the king of swords. Some of you are dealing with an air sign. Um, facts like there's so much air in this reading Libra Gemini Aquarius this person is like they were turning their back they were being very cold very distant but now they're coming in they have something to say okay they want you to listen and I don't know if you're gonna hear this person out because you may look at them like you know what I've heard it all before like I need you to actually show me what you're gonna do this time around because I feel like you don't trust this person at all we have the eight of wands so we have communication coming in we have the Hierophant in reverse. So some of you could be dealing with the Taurus. Now, that's what I'm seeing. With the Six of Pentacles, the next card, the Moon. Wow. The Knight of Wands. Oh, my goodness. I'm telling you, you cannot make this up. This person with the Eight of Wands, they're coming in. They want to talk. There's a lot of communication that's about to go on between you and someone. And I feel like you don't even know it. You don't see it coming. You're going to um be caught off guard. But with the Hierophant in the reverse, I don't know if this person is ready to um, settle down and commit. And I feel like that's what you want. But the thing about it with the Hierophant in the reverse, this person hasn't learned their lessons. Because, you know, the Hierophant is all about um, teaching, you know, people learning a lesson in the situation. And also with the Hierophant reverse, I feel like this person doesn't respect the traditional rules and regulations of a relationship. It's like they want to do whatever they want to do, when they want to do it, how they want to do it. And they don't want any restrictions placed on them. And I feel like that's something you have a problem with, right? But I mean, anybody would. Because it's like, how can you compromise with someone like this? <laughs> you can't. There's no equal give and take with the Six of Pentacles being in reverse if they're trying to give to you and someone else. And then it's like, they'll come in your direction and try to give to you consistently for a couple of weeks. And then they'll go towards someone else. And then you, it's like you guys are right back in the same cycle is what I'm seeing here. Some of you could be dealing with the Pisces with the moon card here. And we have the Knight of Wands. So just expect this person to come in. Expect to hear from them, Virgo, because you will. Let's get a couple more. We have the Devil at the bottom of the deck. So some of you could be dealing with the Capricorn. what messages do you have for Virgos? Oh, okay yep the tower something fell apart here but it happened for a reason whenever a tower the tower card comes into a reading um it's normally to shake something up it's a wake-up call it's for someone to actually see what's really happening around them it's like the universe is saying open your eyes to the situation and if you don't then the universe steps in and brings this tower moment and it forces you to look at things for what they really are, okay? It's like you get a chance, this tower falls to the ground, right? You get a chance to look at everything that's happening in your connection and you either have a chance to rebuild, okay, or walk away from it. And I feel like this is what some of you are going through right now. So you're gonna get a chance to see if you wanna rebuild with this person or if you wanna let their ass go. 
<laughs> that's what I'm seeing here. So those are the messages that I have for your love and relationship reading. I just want to say thank you for coming to my channel. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through out there. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at My Cards Never Lie Tarot. I'm also on TikTok at The Empress 522. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.